go. Okay, here we go. Um, I wanna try and do a partnership on this because you guys know I suck at vintage. I don't know these cards. I know Uro's banned and he's good, but this is vintage and that's a lot of cards. Oh, Tolarian Academy. That's a good card. I know Steam Vents is good. Oh boy. Yeah, I think, let's see here. Yeah, you guys are liking Academy too. Elf Boy. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna go with the Academy. I think I'm gonna do that. But that means I need to get a bunch of artifacts, right? Did I do red blue last time? I think I did. And then we did a sick reanimate deck too. Lamerkis, thank you so much for the, the resub. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. That's, that's freaking power, right? Oh, Kenji. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I'm not gonna make this mistake. We're good. We're good. Pogs, pogs. Yes. Okay. Holy moly. Now the pressure's on. I can't mess this up. But I know I got you guys, so we Gucci. <laughs> Paid drafters. Okay, but does that mean that we're like already red blue? Okay, dig through time. Um, so it doesn't, okay, right, because we can change that, right? Okay. Let's see here. Y'all are like in monolith. Man, this happened the last time. Y'all went for just the mana cards. But the mana cards aren't exciting to me, but at the same time, without the mana cards, you're kind of screwed. Mm. You know, I kind of like this, uh, I kind of like this flyer. And it does stay within one of the colors we've got. Uh, wait, the artifact thing does work though. Oh, uh, too much reading. Okay, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do that one. Um, brain freeze. I don't think we're storming. I know Kenji likes to storm a lot, but I don't think that's what we're doing. Here's an artifact though. Artifact would work with this thing, the academy. Top. Uh, that is an artifact too. Look at the top three cards and put them back in any order. Draw a card. That does seem incredibly overpowered. Okay, let's do it. So like, what are some, oh, 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 this looks good. This looks good with our colors we got going on, but let, I guess I should probably read the rest. The target artifact card from the graveyard. Under, that seems really good. Why are you guys saying orb though? Maybe I don't understand how the the orb is a bomb here. Both are good. Ruin is too slow. Okay. Mm, yeah, you know, maybe because I can't make up my mind, I'm going to take the tar pit. Oh, oh, wait, oh, Signet is blue-white. I don't know if that... Let's see. Uh, does it does it matter though if it's white? Mana is mana. We don't care. We want it. Okay, but but kids, at what point do we start taking creatures? Oh shoot! I'm taking this. You all can't talk me out of it. I'm taking it. I'm taking this. Cause it's an artifact and it's big. Cool. Glad we agree. All right, next up, we got a Lotus Petal. 
that's good ramp. All right. Uh, there's a Sphinx here. Sphinx is in our colors. And I'm kind of sick of taking mana, so maybe we will take the, the Sphinx. Okay, let's do it. Mm, I, okay. One of these, probably? I think I'm more in black than anything, so... I like I like the removal. I'll take the I like the removal there. I'm gonna take that. All right, blast zone, charge counters, and that kills things. Right, sacrifice strange on that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's good. Each post. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot better than the other cards I'm seeing here. All right. I'm going to just stay in the colors, I think, because Kenji taught me to stay in colors and you can't really go wrong. Smokestack at the beginning of your upkeep, maybe. Uh, sure, I don't know how that- Oh, hey, 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 look who came back around. Oh my god. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, shoot. Did I just take two cards on accident? I saw Kenji do this earlier, so I'm going to move it to sideboard. He's going to be really impressed with that. He's going to be like, damn, mom, do you play Mitko? And I'm going to be like, yeah, I play on the side all the time. Oh, we got a brazen. Okay, okay. Got our friend Grave Titan. Mit Mitko. Mitko. But okay, uh let's see here. Oh, we got Trinket Mage. Man, y'all are going for the lands again though. I feel like that's just, we got a lot of lands though, like already. I wanna start getting some like fat in here and some excitement going on. <sighs> Grave Titan is pretty big. I don't know how to how to uh, sort by converted mana cost. Why will it not? Do I have to select them? I gotta select them. No, how do I do this? Sort by converted. I don't know. Um, Brazen Bar Borrower is really good too. Uh, something something one of these. I, I'm I'm gonna say right now. I'm not watery. I'm not doing the watery grave thing. I'm gonna go this time with I'm gonna go with the borrower. Oh, here's our 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 mud drifter. We also got a brainstorm, which is pretty sweet. Heroes downfalls pretty good too. I thought this isn't as good of a lotus though. Honestly, what does this uh little mud dude do? Draw two cards. I don't know what evoke is. Oh. oh, I am. I am an artifacts, aren't I? But it, that is, that's true. That's a fair point. I thought Brainstorm was supposed to be like a really, really good card, though. But I, I guess like, how do we kill the opponent? We have a lot of artifacts. But we don't really have a lot of damage. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have like a worm coil and stuff. Okay, um, here's another artifact. That's equipment. A living weapon? What? Eh. Chromox. Um, let's see. Y'all are saying cryptic or typhoon, the shark typhoon. I don't know what cryptic command is. Uh, counter target spell, return target permanent in our hand, tap all creatures, take control, draw a card. Well, that's pretty freaking good. You got a lot of options there. Um, I like that. Over, I like that over the shark typhoon because you just have so many options, and we have a lot of mana to hopefully get triple blue. I think so. We're gonna do that. Oh shoot! We got the Tef. 
Oh wait, and Scarab God. I don't know what, I, I'm pretty sure Teferi's better. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's better though. He's like really broken, right? Uh, beginning of your upkeep, you should have hot loses X life and you scry. Wait, we don't really control zombies though. Teferi is white and blue, yes. But I think he's just too damn good. Kenji can figure out the mana. Kenji can figure out the mana. That's that's not my problem. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, we got a Sphinxy. Not even looking at the rest, taking it. It's in our colors. I don't think we can play Ulamog. Can we? He's really fat. I don't know if we have enough for him. You got okay. You guys are liking Grim. And the monolith. Um, okay, Grim is pretty damn good, though. Some easy mana here. He also doesn't look nearly as boring as this building thing. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, all right. Where are we at? I don't even know what colors we're in. Are we, like, blue, white, black now? Kozilek. I've never, I don't even think I've seen this card before. <laughs> but he is like really, really big. Um, uh, what else is here? There's an inkwell leviathan language. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing pretty mixed results in the chat. I think I'm just going to stick with the blue theme we got going on. Go with Leviathan. Okay, we got Show and Tell. Yogmoth. Oh, wait, Golos is Artifact. But wait, we'd, ha we'd have to play in like five colors, though, I think. Don't we need the five colors to like go off with Golos? God, y'all are like, please, please, God, take Golos. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. There we go. We got the Golos. Um, Mind's Desire. Oh, that's a Storm card, right? So Heartless Act might be good here instead. Okay, yeah, we're going to do Heartless Act. Downfall. Lots of removal. Um, maze. Untap the target attacking creature. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt. Yeah, we do have a few removal spells. Sure, I'll, I'll throw that in instead. Um, I don't. I just. I don't think. I don't like equipment. I don't like equipment because when they die, you lose it, and it's like a two for one for the opponent. And I don't like that. So I'm going to go with the gate caller. Uh, I get less and less time to read the cards. <laughs> and don't, my logic doesn't really make sense. Okay, we just got to... We just, just got to go with it. All right. Oh, God, I don't... I can't even... Read these. Okay, we're just gonna pick one of those. All right, pack three. Let's go. Let's go. Oh wait, I have a Mox Ruby. What the heck am I gonna do with the Mox Ruby? I don't have. I don't have red. <laughs> I don't have red. <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't matter. We're just we're casting big things anyways. Um, Mana Vault. Y'all are liking Mana Vault, huh? Let's take a look at this together. You can pay for, you untap it. At the beginning of your draw step, if Mana Vault is tapped, it deals one damage to you. You add three mana. That's okay. Yeah. So turn, turn, turn one, three mana. That seems pretty good to me. What about stone or stone coil serpent though? I've seen oh, and then it's sundering titan. I guess 
All right, how about this? We're going to do the mana vault, but I'm really over the mana now. I don't want no, I don't want any more mana. I'm taking the bazaar. Done. I'm taking the thought sees. Done. We're going. There are no breaks on this mom draft train, okay? No breaks. Did I just pass a tinker? I don't even know what tinker is. Don't tell, don't tell Kenji I passed it if it's that good. <laughs> uh, I, I said there were no breaks. I didn't say we were going in the right direction, okay? There's a difference. <laughs> oh God, I don't even, what colors are we still? We're not in green, we're in black, blue, and white. Black, blue, Vista. I don't want, no more lands. Lands are off limits. Unless it, uh, no more lands. We've hit the land quota. So, I do like this discard though. I like the discard, I'm down with that. All right. Got a worm. I don't know what this walker is. And we also got Reggie. Reggie is very cute. We picked him in the cute draft. Signet is... Okay, technically it's not a land, but it's also not like... It's just a... Ugh, so many mana sources. This is why I can't play Vintage. <laughs> this dan wait, This needs mana still? Hmm... Oh, for Golos. Yeah. Oh. Fine. Fine. Oh, Tezzeret. Time warp. Time warp. Oh, wait, Oko. Yeah, Oko's pretty good too. Wait, because doesn't he poop out artifacts? He poops out artifacts. We're going to poop out artifacts for our artifact deck. We're going to take the Walking Ballista because it's a good artifact. I think from what I've seen in Kenji's streams. <laughs> uh, we'll see. So at this point, at this point, how are we feeling? How are we doing here? Why is it spread out so wide? <laughs> Why can't I like, can I zoom out? Uh, oh, gosh. Gosh. Oh, we got another Teferi though. I don't think the, is this the good, is this also a good Teferi? Great. Good to fairy. Done. Sundering Titan came back around for us. Um, sure. Oh wait, uh Oblivion Ring could be good. I mean we have some other removal, but I think it's mostly creature removal. Yeah. Okay, I am I am pretty light on the white. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't freaking know. All I know is I'm playing an artifact deck. I'm gonna take this one. No, I'm gonna take that one. Here's an artifact. We're gonna take him. Uh. Oh no, <laughs> y'all are y'all are hating on me because I didn't take workshop. Uh, okay, I guess we'll take. Oh, oh, here, look, 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 y'all were, uh, y'all were saying, get the walker. Look who came back for us. Look who came back. Uh, who? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Take ooze. Take ooze. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. We're gonna. We're just gonna build it for Kenji. And by that, I'm. I'm totally kidding because I have no idea how to build this deck. All right. <laughs> 3-0 deck. 
We'll, we'll see if we can get a 3-0 player. I need a 3-0 player for this. Absolutely. Okay, and here comes Kenji. Baby, I got you power. Nice. But it's... I don't know. I don't know the mana thing with Vintage yet. The kids just yell at me to take mana all the time. I'll, I'll learn it one day. I'll learn it one, one day. Okay, I did pass a Tinker and Workshop. We'll see how, how much Kenji scolds me for that. Um, and sorry if I... Um, Nod Nolb, thank you for the resub and hello. Team Jbro, thank you for the host. Sorry, I missed that. Okay. And Space Monkey 73, thank you for the 28 months. All right, you guys, here's the man of the hour. Thank you. That was fun. And thank you, Kenji, for letting me take over the stream. Okay. Bye, guys. Cat jams. Good one, but you're gonna yell at me for that. <laughs> They'll tell you about it though. Well, we'll never know. <sighs> oh, you'll know. They'll tell you. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay, you have to explain to me though. The kids kept telling me to take every mana source possible. Every mana source possible? But then I get bored of the mana and I feel like we have too much mana. Can't go wrong with mana, let you cast stuff. But then if you have too much mana, you can't cast it. <laughs> Look at people highlighting the message. They're calling me out. Okay. My brain is fried already. I don't know how I'm going to... What are we trying to do here? Let's see. You have a Teleon Academy, Academy Ruins. No Mind Slaver. Smokestack. Artifacts. I'll go to fairy. I'll double to fairy. That's a little black cards. All right. Uh, I'm not gonna bother concern myself with what she didn't take. I got you a mox ruby. That's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently, that didn't take some. Uh, you can't always take them all, though. Here you, I, I listen to your voice in my head, though, and I'm like, stay in the colors. Uh huh. And that's about it. Sure, you did just fine. You got two Teferis and an Oko. That's okay. pretty good. Oh, okay. God, I can't, I can't think right now, man. This. We just drafted aggro. This deck looks like it's gonna have too many different lines. All right, let's see here. Stacks out. I'll just cut all the lands. How many? How many playables are we working with here? Okay. Oh, we have how many pieces of fixing chat? Two? Some artifacts. Signet, signet. This one doesn't really do anything. In, in the kids' defense, they did try to get me to take a lot more land than I was willing to take. Oh, yeah? They tried. They really did. Two, three, four. Can I almost just cut the black? I almost can just cut the black here, right? Could try to go like blue, green, white. Sphinx. No, this can win get some games. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I just get this in. I mean, the Vorinclex is actually good with all the Teferi and the, the Planeswalkers. That's fine. In fact, I might just run the relic for value. 
artifact for uh, Forge Master and Academy. It's playable chat. We'll just cast some Okos and win the game. A D minus? But an optimistic D minus? I'm not going to give it a grade. Oh. It's better if I don't, probably. Is it that bad? <laughs> it's just better if I don't. I take half the blame. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, my brain is fried. It's gonna be like mono aggro decks after this from here on out, chat. Uh, I don't know. I'm running so heavy blue. Let's see. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I get one more land. We have Gruul and Azoria Signet. It's green, blue, white. Alright, this is... Fine. I'm not going to run the Tar Pit even though I'm running the Sphinx. Well, maybe I just cut the Sphinx. Maybe just, I, can, I can run the, like the, the Maze of Ith instead of the Sphinx. As the, as the next spell land. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Uh, is Aragard, thank you for that Prime sub. What's up, Ming Pack? Thank you for the 37 months. Head music. Think of that prime sub as well. Mm. Yeah, I could be running the Academy Ruins. I didn't I guess it's good enough since I have Ballista. That's fine. I'll run the Academy Ruins instead of the Maze of Ith. Uh wait, no, instead of Island, and then run the maze. <laughs> Yeah, but there's a lot of Pokemon coming up, so that won't eat my brain as much. Mmm. There you go. Now you sold me. Black for Golos. That's why I want Tar Pit. Okay. No, it's so close. Uh, I'm going to mulligan, but... This hand is abysmal looking. Oh, Jesus, we're dead. Ready shop cart, gifting a tier three sub. Whoa! To Dakon Blackblade. Congrats to you. No, the relic exiles itself. That doesn't work. Well, I'm not too uh, convinced we're going to be anywhere close to any wins. Mirror match, by the way. Mirror match, by the way. You got OP. All right. I think we just scoop that one up there. I could probably wait for a little bit more information, but <laughs> so black, I get fatal push, heartless act. The issue here is the fixing. Get some good interrupt or disruption in black, but. I don't know if it's as good as just keeping all of the good Bant cards we have here. No, let, let's keep it like it is. I think our Bant cards are stronger. We just need to have better hands. Like, I think I'm... I'm okay to keep this on the back of Metalworker making a huge Ballista and pinging a bunch of stuff. Would be nice to rip, like, the Mox Ruby here to cast the Metalworker this turn. Now hold up, chat. I forgot, if I just ask... 
sometimes it'll give me what I need. Turn three ballista for five, no big deal. Do it, I dare you. I laugh in the face of, face of danger. Ha 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 ha. All right, chat. And that's how we win. Like I said, we just need to get one of those busted draws with our good cards. Uh. Yeah. Now can we do that again? Can't keep this. How many forces am I even running? Like three? Yeesh. Holy moly. Well, that looks like it can do busted things. It's a good hand. It doesn't really win, but it's a good hand. Oh. Okay. Turn two, Golioli, with a million mana. Oh, yes, I could have, actually. I should have, rather. Not even could have. Should have. I have five. Oh, I can't do it this turn, can I? One floating. No, I can't do it this turn unless I draw a land off the top. So it's probably just better to grab my academy here. Yep. That's for sure the play, especially when we just drew the Ballista. But I should probably have Teferi on the battlefield right now in an extra card. Turning off their library if they play another card here. Maybe they have like a mine. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Still casting more stuff. Oh, sure. Well, that's kind of clever. What land could they have, though? That's the real question. Breeding pool, sure. Two, three, four, three, six. I was almost tempted to bounce my own Golos to grab some green. GZ, it's fine. Since we have the uh, borrower and the Scoos, if we can find green. Hmm. Let's see here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, Ballista is going to just kill him in two turns if they don't do anything here. They can't, I don't know if they can realistically replay the god next turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ooh, wake up, Kenji. <sighs> Everybody in chat falling asleep too? Or how are we hanging? Well, I'm hanging up a few days. Mm hmm. <laughs> Take a shot of espresso. I have another energy drink, but I'm kind of tempted to make coffee now. I hate coffee late at night, though. But something warm sounds good. Gonna be here for hours. Inject the Ironmon into my veins and be reborn. 
I'm just worried that I'm going to be too loud and Emily's going to wake up. Or I'm going to wake her up. Right? Hey, Mom. Hmm? Me? I won! Easy is that clap. Just a, a, is that a game? Oh. Entire match thing? That was a match, yeah. The uh, Sweatpants Invitational, or whatever they call it. The Hunter Pence uh, Tournament this weekend. Or tomorrow, sorry. Tomorrow. Close this! You're supposed to close it before you pair! Oh no! My hand! My secrets! Gone forever. Have I played Call Time Draft in a while? I have not. We've been doing a ton of Vintage Cube. I think I'm going to draw naturally for the turn in case I draw, what, Gruel Signet or something? Red rocks me. Well, let's see if we can get turn three Oko. Would be nice. Later, later. Okay, well, no problem there. Was going to be finding that green source. You know what we can do? We can make the walking ballista a 5-5 uh, five, five next turn. If I wanted. But, let's see what they do this turn. Because 5-5 five, five plays around a lot of the unfortunate cards they could have. Ooh, Rabble Master is pretty good. Well, I guess what I'm going to do here is make a 3-3 and shoot down the Rabble. Oh, they're going face! Oh my god, the Mad Lad Chad. Jesus. What a, a ginormous Mad Lad Chad. No, I don't want a minus there. Oko getting this far into the loyalty zone is way too good. Yeah, that's really concerning that they went face. That means they think they can uh, just ignore it. Okay. Well, that's fine. In fact, I'm not even going to pop the Rabble Master. We just let it attack. Nom 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 nom. If you're trying to swap a permanent and one of the permanent leaves, you uh, it doesn't take place. The effect. I might... I might actually... Hmm. They're going a little bit wide for my liking. Could also turn the top into a 3-3 three, three here. I don't know if this is the right play, but I kind of dig it. What's up, Euripides? Thanks for the 26-month sub. I wonder, I wonder if I'm supposed to be, like, leveling the Ballista heavily. Oh, they have a dragon, maybe? Yep. Lazmut, Thank you for that Prime Gaming as well. Again, all going face. Terrifying here. Okay, one card left in hand. Everybody thinks you can steal uh, artifacts with this. Only stealing creatures. Alright, I am going to do something to the shrine this turn. I just don't know what yet. The problem with tucking the shrine is that I lose my Teferi. But I guess that's better than just dying. 
It's better to tuck the shrine than the Tefer than the uh, dragon because it resets all the counters. That's true. I can eat the graveyard with ooze. Chains Addiction! Thank you for the six month sub in. I should have probably popped the Thopter. I don't know. Maybe popping the Thopter with Ballista was better. I should have done that. That was a mistake. Or it feels like a mistake. Yeah, yeah, we still have good plays here. Like, it's very hard for them to attack with. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm going to do it. Pop it. Pop it. Whack it. Ping it. <laughs> Alright, looks like they are going to throw it. Whoa, they finished off the ooze! Teferi lives! Go, go, go! Draw, draw, draw! Eh, getting Academy Ruins here is pretty nice too. If I get Tarpit, I, Tar I can start activating Golilos, but... Let's grab the Academy Ruins, considering I have the, uh... The, uh... Ballista in the Graveyard. Hey! That's cheating. I want my life. Yeah, I'm not going to be tucking it for a long time. Score one for the Ballistas! Oh, Alright, Titan's kind of bad. We'll bring in the Sphinx versus them. If we can just get Sphinx online, it's easy, baby, GG. Blast Zone and Factory are interesting. <sighs> yeah, maybe Inkwell is way too slow, huh? Just a Blast Zone to blow up some ones and whatnot. I don't mind running 18, 19 lands. <laughs> you know, it's nice to always start with your pseudo power and power. Turn two Golos, not two Shabs. I don't have the Teferi mana this time. I don't have a white source. No, my mana. I don't need to attack. <laughs> Not yet. All right. I think I can start attacking. Hey, knock it off. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine.
Big T Rav, thank you for the 15 month sub. <laughs> Mom deck too strong. You see what people just <laughs> Everyone knows. Yeah, that draw was stupid good. Holy smokes. See, this is the this is the kind of hand I was expecting more so, but that's why mulligans exist. Oh lord. We're going to five. Okay. I'm actually gonna pitch the hanger back and keep the expensive spells and hope to top deck. Uh oh. <laughs> Turn to Oko, dude. All right, GG. Oh, GG, go next. Uh, I guess we're dead. The Vorinclex is six mana, I don't know. Bert loves like a 53 month sub! Oh my god, we're so dead. So dead, dude. <sighs> so dead. I guess I can draw like Academy here and then play Golos and I don't even know. This feels like a pick em up streamer move. <laughs> they just wanted the free trophy. I see how it is. All right, you win, you win. Okay. We need to get our Mox Ruby Mana Vault opening hands. That's our only hope. Wait, did we... Oh. Or we get the turn to Oko or something. Yeah, we just need to get our best possible draws in back-to-back -back games. How hard can that be? I don't even know what our best possible start is, but... Oh, it's probably Mox Ruby, Mana Vault, Academy 5-drop or something. I don't know. I, I don't think I can keep this hand. I mean, yeah, it's fine. <sighs> like, I, I don't know what I would be hoping to mulligan to, because this hand is completely reasonable. I'm just going to draw naturally for turn. I don't think turn one Oko is as good as some of the other things we can do. All right, well, at least they don't have a turn two Oko this time. Four, six, eight. Uh, depending on what they do here, we might be okay. Damn. Damn, that sucks a lot. Ugh, we needed that. With this, if this stayed on the battlefield, we might have won. But we're probably just dead now. Big oof. Because this turn, I was going to like top before I drew for turn, so then I draw the top. I have like four or five art four artifacts in my hand. We get to like Sundering Titan them. <clears throat> oh, I haven't looked at any news today, four for one. Nor do I want to look at any news if it's depressing. Okay, Lotus, Emerald, that is some power. I guess we're dead. Ooh. 
Well, they had the Lotus, the Sphinx, out. So maybe there's a chance between the two cards they just drew and the card they're going to draw for turn, maybe they don't find another land. I think that's a viable strategy here, right? Yeah, they didn't, baby! Oh, God! Okay, small chance. Small chance acquired. Let's go! Back to dead, back to dead. It was fun while it lasted. Do we know what's on top of the library? God, man, that metal worker dying was the game for sure. I cannot blister on one for multiple reasons. One, that lets them get six mana guaranteed and they just slam the Sphinx. Two, they could Polychronos and shoot. So we're going to have to let Teferi die here. But we might keep them off of Sphinx for another turn, which would be fine. Yeah, I mean, Lotus into Worm Coil and Titan, maybe? They have way too many cards in their hand, though. Like, I don't feel comfortable. Okay, so they do have access to Sphinx now next turn. Worm Coil doesn't beat the card draw of... Uh, Oh, Sphinx, though. Like, they're just going to draw way too many cards. Berserker Mars, thank you for the tier one sub. Oh, turn off. Actually, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What are you talking about? They already have six mana now. Whoa, that's bad. Oh, they can't cast Sphinx here. They needed to tap Tropical Island for that. Holocronos with Nissa's a lot of mana and a lot of fatty too. I mean, I get to go Sundering Titan, blow up Tropical Forest. They still have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, potentially. I mean, just way too much mana. I think I killed the creature and not the island, right? I think at this point the Sphinx is not even the issue. I think I need to blow up the creature. Are we dead on board? I don't think so. Remember, Polychronos, you have to deal the damage with the X and not with Polychronos' power. Okay. I lied. We are dead. <laughs> oh, well, this was always going to be a hard matchup. You did your best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finish me. Finish me, goddammit. Otherwise, I don't give you the satisfaction. Oh, wait. Is that a must fight? As you choose among any number. I don't think it's a must fight. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to bother chat. I don't think it's a must fight. We weren't dead there. We could live another turn, but... <laughs> 